Well, it seems like the parents really spoke out and organized and got something accomplished where they said, we're going to get this book out of here, uh, in particular, the one that was referenced in, um, in that article, getting it off the library shelves, the book by Maya Kobabi. Parents have a fundamental right to make decisions with regard to their child's upbringing, education, and care. To parents, I say we respect you and we will empower you in the education of your children. Let's bring in our panelists now to react. We're joined by Republican strategist Amy Tarkanian. Also joining us, Newsmax contributor Tom Borelli and a radio host of This Is America radio podcast, Rich Valdez. Panelist, welcome. Happy Monday to you. All right, as the kids are heading back for now their spring semester here, uh, here's that tweet that Jen Psaki had sent out. Again, this was in response to those new executive actions. Uh, she said, hi there, Arlington County parent here. Don't believe you are Glenn Youngkin, but correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you to uh, Arlington Public Schools Virginia for standing up for our kids, teachers, and administrators and their safety in the midst of a transmissible variant. Hmm. Um, Rich, Tom pointed out another issue. One of those executive actions was banning CRT, uh, race-based curriculum, into public schools. Talk to me about that decision and, and really what encouraged it, where it came from uh, in regards to all those parent-teacher conferences prior to even the election. Well, it seems like the parents really spoke out and organized and got something accomplished where they said, we're going to get this book out of here, uh, in particular, the one that was referenced in um, in that article, but getting it off the library shelves, the book by Maya Kobabi. And uh, other districts are doing this, uh, the opposite. And they're saying, no, we're going to keep these books. And I think you're going to see the same thing with masks. You're going to have some districts that say, no, we're not going to do it just like we saw in Florida when they uh, kind of bucked uh, DeSantis's order against masks. But at the end of the day, I think the governor holds uh, the power of the purse uh, as long as he has a legislative majority. And he could say, you know what, we're going to withhold some aid. So I think on the mask uh, agenda, that's how it's going to be with respect to schools and CRT and books that are in there promoting the transsexual agenda or a uh, racial oppressive agenda, I think that there's going to continue to be a battle and it's going to come right from the parents. Mm. All right, panelists, thank you so much for weighing in. Amy Tarkanian, Tom Borelli, and Rich Valdez, thank you. A new hour of National Report starts right after this break.